If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, August 19th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining me on today's show in the Finice Monitor will be Gunnar Bentz. In about a week, he will be in Dubai racing some of the planet's most talented teenagers at the Junior World Championships, where he'll be one of the busiest athletes at the meet with four individual events and likely two relays as well. And Gunnar joins us now from Atlanta, Georgia. Gunnar, it's great to see you. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. We caught you during one of your free periods there at St. Pius, so thanks for taking the time out. How has the first few days of senior year been? Um, they're not bad. I'm trying to get a head start on my schoolwork before heading off to Dubai. Um, I mean, I'm missing like two weeks of school or something, so uh, pretty hectic actually. I would imagine it's better to at least miss this much school at the beginning and not say like in the winter during finals. Oh, definitely. It's so much easier. So yeah. when you when you told your teachers, hey, I'm going to be spending two weeks uh, at a big meet in Dubai, um, what did they say? Um, they, they're not too happy with it. I mean, no teacher likes it when a kid misses two weeks of their class, but um, cause I mean, it means more work for them. I'm, I mean, I'm always there after school and whatnot asking for assignments and things. So, I mean, it's kind of annoying, but, uh, they know, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty big thing going to Dubai for world. So, I mean, it's, they're, they deal with it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's something right. you can't pass up. Right. Well, I saw your tweet, uh, about getting that box of apparel from USA swimming. You said it was. Christmas in July, Christmas in August. So give us yeah. an idea of what uh, what was in the box. Oh, it's awesome this year. I I mean I love that we're sponsored by Arena. It's I mean it's definitely the coolest stuff we've ever gotten. Uh, just tons of shirts and shorts, and uh, we got a swim bag and, and a suitcase and uh, some cool little compression socks. Uh, so I mean just everything you're gonna need. Uh, it's it's awesome. I love. I love all the arena stuff. Yeah, you won't have to go shopping for clothes and gear for at least another year. <laughs> yeah. And by then yeah. you will have made another international team, so they'll just keep giving you more and more stuff. Yeah. Yep. Well, as I said at the top of the show, you're going to be one of the busiest guys at the meet. you got four individual events, the 200 and 400 IM, the 100 and 200 breaststroke, and then uh, you're also slated to do the 800 free relay, and I would imagine also the 400 medley relay. Uh, what are your thoughts about having such a big schedule? Um, actually, I, I'm, I qualified in the two free as well, uh, but I was like, that's that's too much. So I, I turned that one down, uh, gave gave someone else the chance to swim it. Uh, and I don't know, I mean, we train at Dynamo to swim a ton of events. Um, I mean, me and the, the triplets especially, we swam like, seven or eight events at, at juniors and uh we swam at us open so i mean we really we're used to swimming a ton uh so I, and i mean i like it i i don't like just sitting around at the meet all day uh the whole week just not doing anything i like i really like considering myself as you know a, a decent help to the team so i mean I, I really like swimming a lot of those uh individual events that you're going to be swimming which one do you are you most looking forward to doing uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd say 4IM is my best event, but not my favorite event because, I mean, it's the 4IM. It's it's always hard. Uh, I, I think maybe the 100 breasts because at juniors, I swam that like 20 minutes after the two free. So I was, I was really, really just wiped for the 100 breasts. So, I mean, I, I really think uh, that's going to be a lot better. Um, and I, I love... The two I am always is always a showdown with uh, Andrew Seliscar. We're always right there with each other, so that should be a really fun one. 
Yeah, I was, sure. I was going to mention that both of you are right on the brink of possibly breaking two minutes. I mean, that's got to yeah. be just one of the big goals in the back of your mind, not just beating Andrew and, and getting on the medal stand and beating the rest of the world, but breaking that big barrier. Yeah, I mean, that was at the last day of juniors, the 2IM, and I think both of us really, that's a huge goal is definitely being under two minutes. Um, and I think it's there. It's, it's definitely possible. We, we're all, I mean, we're both pretty decent in all four strokes and i think i think uh we always push each other to do better and i mean that's just going to be a great race and i i really hope we'll be under two and i, I think we will be so it's it's going to be fun well you're obviously a great breaststroker and a really good freestyler so the fly in the back not apparently your best stroke so if you're going to break two minutes is it going to be improving the fly in the back or is it just being stronger on the breast and the free um, I, w me personally, I, I've always struggled with the front half for sure. Uh, I think Andrew is a lot better at the front half. Um, I'm definitely a back half swimmer and yeah, I, I definitely think it's going to come in the backstroke, uh, is, I mean, that's always my weakest link. And, and I think if my backstroke is better then that's definitely where, where the, uh, improvement needs to be made and, and that'll definitely, uh, help a lot. Well, this is going to be your fourth taper meet. You swam at U.S. Nationals, you swam at the U.S. Open, and then Junior Nationals. So, I mean, I can't imagine what it's going to be like, what your body's going through. I mean, you've been tapering four times in the past three months. How are you going to be able to continue to get faster in Dubai? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I just love racing. Uh, I, I don't really... When I come home from a taper meet, like just a few days ago when we got home from juniors, uh, a lot of people feel, you know, just pretty weird and don't feel very well. But I, I don't know. It doesn't affect me a ton. I, I still feel pretty pretty ready for Dubai, and, and it's not a huge challenge getting back into shape. But, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I'll just treat this as another meet. Uh, it's not anything – I don't want it to be anything that it's – make it seem like it's a much bigger deal i just want to go into this meet like it's any other meet and uh do my best so uh, it, the taper should be relatively the same as it usually is and hopefully it'll come out better than the rest of the summer and it'll help that your the head coach of dynamo jason turcott will be there even though he's going to be the head coach of the women's team and also you'll have some other teammates from dynamo so it won't be like you're totally uh i guess pardon the pun in, in a foreign situation i mean you'll you'll still have some some familiar people that you'll be uh hanging around with definitely J jason's always on our trips and uh i mean he's a great coach and uh i, I love being his athlete and i mean having uh kylie is always on the trips i'm on and, and actually jay litherland one of the triplets this is going to be his first trip so uh that should be really fun uh i mean i love training with jay and uh just he's a great guy and and being with him on this trip should be really really fun well when you get back as i said not only you got all this school work to catch up with but college recruiting season gets started well, got any idea of what schools are at the top of your list um, to tell you the truth, uh, I, I like to keep it open. Um, I, I've got it narrowed down to my top five, but, uh, I mean, trip should be really fun and, and, and I don't want to rank my five schools in any particular order. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep my mind open for trips and, uh, see, see where it goes from there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I've talked to a lot of seniors who rank their schools and it turns out they right. end up going to their fifth ranked school. So, right. you know, it, it always changes, especially once you get on campus. Right, definitely. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a busy fall for you, but a fun one. And uh, we'll let you get back to class. Gunnar, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck in Dubai. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. All right, so that was Gunnar Bentz joining us in the Finis Monitor today. We'll be keeping an eye on him and all the other top swimmers in Dubai next week at the World Junior Championships. And that's going to do it for today's Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.